everyone, it's Hermione, and in true Hermione style, I have another DIY room decor video for you guys today. Because it's summertime, I try to make these really bright colours and really fun and a little bit summery, so let me know if you like those down below in the comments, and if you would like me to make more summer-inspired room decor, let me know. If you haven't already, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe down below, and if you want, you can check out my social media, which I will link on screen and down below and I hope you guys like watching and maybe making some of these DIYs so let's get into it so the first thing that I have to show you is this floral globe which I've seen tons of on Pinterest and I kind of just wanted to try it out for myself not gonna lie and show you guys how it's made so these are all the supplies that I used and I will talk about the paper in a minute because I used a different type of paper but anyway I just used some craft paint and painted the whole globe in this blue color I would recommend using acrylic paint because this took four coats to dry and I had to leave it a long time to dry I also used this really nice bright pop of pink on the stand to make it stand out from the blue and then once I was finished with that I started to decoupage my flowers. I tried to use scrapbook paper for this but actually wrapping paper or any kind of magazine or printout works so much better so this is some floral wrapping paper I had and all I'm doing is mod podging the whole globe, sticking the flowers on and then mod podging on top of them. Then I went on to create the lettering and I actually lost a little bit of the footage here so I'm so sorry but I used a gold paint pen to write the word wonderlust and here you can see me doing a heart just to show you how I did it but I actually what I did was I got a word document and wrote out Wonderlust in a font that I found online and then just eyeballed it on the globe I used a pencil and then I went over it with the paint pen and this is the finished result and I'm really pleased with how it turned out I'm very glad I tried this DIY Next I have to show you this mirrored jewellery box which I think is a really nice pop of colour and looks really nice on my chest of drawers. You can use this to store whatever you like of course. These are the materials I used and I took a craft box from the craft store, it was £1.99. I bet you can find these really cheap in your local craft store and all I did was paint the lid of it with some craft paint and I decided to just paint the lid and not the whole box because I thought it would give it like a really unique kind of colour blocking effect but you can do what you want with it and then I used some clear wax to seal the paint in once I was done to make sure it wasn't going to chip off. Once I was finished with this I used some gold triangular mirrored stickers and I just stuck them on the box in a geometric shape. In this kind of pattern it was kind of abstract so I kind of went with it and stuck them like this but obviously you can kind of cover the whole lid if you want or just do small sections. I just kind of like the look of this. And this is the finished result. I'm pretty proud of how it turned out and I use it to store my Polaroids. Next I have this quote which I've written on a transparent frame and you can hang this on your wall or wherever you like and I really like the concept of this, I kind of just came up with it so I don't know, let's see how this goes. I started by taking an old picture frame and some cellophane which I got in a florist, you can buy this in the craft store or in a flower shop or anything like that and I just cut it to size, I really like the pattern on this actually, I think it's really cute and the thing I like about it is obviously that it's completely transparent except for the pattern which I think is very very cool. So I stuck this down using a glue gun and just folded the edges over like a present and then cut them to size. You can use any kind of adhesive or tape to do this if you don't want to use a hot glue gun. And then once I was finished with that I put it straight back into the frame and used a glue gun to glue the edges in. And once it was finished all I did was add some adhesive sticker letters in my phrase which was good vibes only because I kind of like that phrase. And I got these from Target when I was in America but you can get these anywhere in any kind of craft store and this is the finished product. I like how customizable it is and how you can put any kind of quote or picture that you want on the front. And then I have this little plaque which I've added some hooks onto for hanging necklaces or keys or whatever you want. I painted it in some nice summery colours just to make my room look really bright and colourful so here is how I did it. I took this wooden sign that I got in Michael's craft store when I was in the USA, I think it was about $3 and all I did was use a sponge brush and pat different colours of craft paint all over it to give it this kind of tie dye looking paint effect and then once it was dry I added two hooks on the front. I was going to use this to hold my keys but I couldn't find my keys at the time of filming so it kind of turned into a jewellery holder. So I really like the look of it and I like how it makes my room feel really summery. 
those are all the DIYs I have to show you today. I hope you guys like them. And if you're gonna try any of these, send me a picture or tell me in the comments down below that you tried them because that would make me really happy. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe,